Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm getting started on a new kit I got here, this 1950 Chevy 3100. I wonder why they call it a 3100. Because today, you know, like 2500 is like heavy duty. This is 3100. I think it must just be the body style or something. I don't know. If you know, let me know in the comments. Anyway, back to it. Sorry, sidetrack. I'm starting this kit. I've already started to get a lot of the parts off of the tree so I can start getting some, uh, a lot of the parts glued together. This kit was given to me by Mark at Hobby Nut Models, hobbynutmodels.com. And he gave me a previous video. He gave me, um, several kits to build and I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Check out the decal sheet on this thing. So, the cool thing with these uh, old trucks and stuff, when, when, when you get decals, you get like a lot of decals that you can save for other builds, like the 76, Sully's Solenoid Service, Rusty's R Rust Roofing, or whatever, how, what in the world. I don't know if I want a rust roofing, but Autos, Auto Shield, it's just so cool because you get so many extra um, decal kits to uh, for other builds. Anyway, cool. So, yes, yeah, so I've already got this truck. Um, I've already started to get lots of parts off the tree. I'm not going to show you me, me gluing them together. I mean, we all know how to build models here. What I'm going to do, though, with this kit, and I'm excited to do it, is I want to weather it. And this truck right here is an example of what I want to do to it. So this is one of my favorite model kits that I have. Um, I did not, this was before I started doing uh, videos, but this old truck here is, this is how I want to model this one as well. So I want to do the rust effect or the old paints worn off effect. Isn't this, doesn't that just look so cool? Uh, one of my, again, one of my favorite kits that I've done so, so far. Um, and I had so much fun doing it. I've been wanting to do another older truck. This is somewhat of the same year model. Um, but I want to do a Chevrolet now. So I'm going to, it's not going to be shiny orange and uh, blue like that. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be something worn out looking. I don't know what color I'll use. Um, but it's going to be cool. And... I'm going to get started and I'm going to glue these parts together. One thing I did notice with this kit, and I think it'll be easily fixed, but the hood doesn't fit. Let's see if I can get you. Okay, so do you see the difference here? So if you get it lined up on one side or the other, the, uh, the hood doesn't fit. You have a lot of overhang. So I think what I can do is take some heat and actually bend the sides in somehow or another maybe shrink her down and uh, get those get those sides to fit a little bit better no biggie it's going to be a it's going to be a beater anyway so it may just add to the effect all right guys i'm going to get some parts glued together some paint on some stuff and uh we'll see how this goes so stand by okay so i've got um a lot of stuff cleaned up put together ready for some for some primer um, the chassis is is built and that will be obviously black and then because i'm going to do a weathering i'll go uh, also probably sh really heavily rust the underside of it um i was able to get the uh, hood to fit better i heated it and got to fit more it's better it's not perfect but it's better also have all these parts over here ready to be painted. These six cylinders are so cool, especially this one. This one's got some great detail. It's even got the spark plugs uh, sticking out the side. It's gonna look nice. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get some paint. Um, get some paint on this stuff. What I'm gonna do with the body, because I wanna rust it, is I'm gonna paint it with red primer. So I'm gonna put a coat of red primer on um on the body and then i'll cover it with my um 
uh, my color and I don't know exactly right yet what I'm going to cover you your my the way I do it your color that covers the primer the primer is going to um, be your your rust what you're going to do is sand through your 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 top coat a light coat of whatever your color is uh, enough to cover the red primer but not so much you're going to have to sand it so hard so we will um, I'll get some primer on all these parts get some and uh, primer the body and then then start going through and seeing if we can uh, get this body um, rusted and try to give it a a a real some realism not um, just you want it to look real um, and we'll get into that but anyway let's get some paint on this stuff stand by all right everybody got the paint or the primer rather on the body and it's looking nice very rusty color um what i used for the primer is this the rust-oleum primer that's what i use generally use for my primers and i haven't had any trouble since starting to use the airbrush i would usually have trouble though when i would um spray bomb it with a uh, the top coat but as far as since i've got my new airbrush and been uh, doing it it's uh this rust-oleum primer has worked out good i've got white black red and gray so whichever color i'm going to paint my body really depends on which primer i'm going to use but i'm going to with that said i am going to spray bomb this body and the reason being is because you don't need the fancy gloss finish on this truck if you're going to weather or rust it. I just want something that I can kind of mist on there to get color and then sand off. And this is also a satin because I'm not looking for a gloss. I'm not looking for a flat, but I'm not looking for a gloss because whenever you um, are going for this look, the paint is worn out. So I'm going to set the camera and uh, turn it and i um, going to spray the body with this uh, green Hunt Club Green and uh we will uh let it dry and then get to sanding on it All right, guys, so I've got the frame here and it's just black and I want to rust it up. So what I've, I've got a mixture of rust that I've made up quite a while back. It's just thinned out rust paint. So I can kind of uh, do like the panel line. Um, it's just rust. So I've got a little in this old, cheap old uh, airbrush here. So I'm just going to, I'm going to try not to turn my fan on because it's so darn loud. I just want to lightly, lightly spray this thing with this rust. Because this is an old truck. I just want to get, it, get this rust color on it. Ooh, i got to turn the fan on. Okay, stand by. I'm going to turn on my...
all right so i don't know how much you can tell about that but it's got a now it's got a rust color to it it's not like it's not the finished product the finished product will have some dry brushing on it too but you want to kind of get a base of just an old worn rusty color so instead of just a flat black now we have a sort of a brown rusty color that's going to be a good start all right moving on all right so i'm going to attempt got my seat here um for my truck and i'm going i've got it painted just flat black with craft black paint and i'm going to attempt to make some make some texture we we'll use this brown i think i'll use this brown brown uh craft paint and just put a little doesn't take much and then the brush that I use, I just washed it, washed the black out, so it's a little bit damp. So I'm going to, rather than paint it, I want to kind of see how, you know, this is kind of experimental. I'm not about to show you how to do something. <laughs> I'm about to show you what I'm going to do. And uh, that might not work out so good. And if it doesn't, I'll just delete this video. So, all right, so I've got some. So when you dry brush, which it's not working out so great here because this brush is not 100% dry. So you don't want tons of paint on there. Okay, let's try this. So I've already, you can almost tell, don't know if you can tell or not. Let's see. There's almost a texture already on the seat, which is good. So I just want to go in a single direction And see what this looks like. This craft paint's great because you can just, oh yeah, this is gonna look nice. You can just rinse it off if it doesn't uh, turn out like you want it. So all I want is texture to make it look like cloth material. And in this truck, somewhat worn cloth material. One thing with this craft paint, if you continue to go over, over and over and over, it kind of starts to look, smear if you don't let it dry. So don't put too much and then try and fix it. All right, so that's what I'm starting with. So I'm just getting a little bit of, you know this darn light's not very good. Let me plug this other light in, maybe to help. There we go. And it still didn't help much, you get just a glare. So I'm just trying to get that texture. Again, just to make it look like old cloth seats. And then what I will do is I will take, have grout, and I will take my grout and I will um, dust everything up in the cab. I really like doing these weathering jobs. Reason being, it doesn't have to look perfect it just has to look old <laughs> and that is no problem for me to do just enough to give it texture and then I need to let this first coat somewhat dry and then maybe I'll get some gray or something like that. I've got a, I've got a gray, a dark gray here. What color is that? Medium gray. No, I have a charcoal color. All right, so charcoal. I might go over that. Well, I don't think that'll be too dark. So I'll go over it with this gray next. And I may can go ahead and do that. This, 
this already looks fairly dry. So let's try some. Let's try some gray. I just reminded myself of Bob Ross for some reason. Anyway, so this brush already has brown in it, so I'm going to get a little. That's a Van Dyke brown. <laughs> if you guys have ever watched Bob Ross, you know what I'm talking about. I don't have any alizarin crimson on here. All right, so just a little a little gray here. Let's see if I can mess this up now. Oh geez, that's way too dark, way too light. Okay, so I'm not going to use the gray. I'm going to go over it again with brown. Just do another coat of brown. That gray is way too light. See how that um, acrylic paint though, you can just wipe it off, no problem. You make a mistake, hey, just go outside with the water hose and just blast it off. I've done it a, several times. All right, so a little bit more brown. Let's do the brown, Van Dyke brown. Just kidding, it's not Van Dyke brown. It's actually espresso. All right, so a little more streaks. Oh yeah, this is going to look nice. Very nice. And for the back. So try to keep your lines straight to simulate that um, fabric. Yeah, that's going to look nice. Very nice. Now, I'll just darn so you gotta get that. All right, so if I can, there. Now I've got an old worn-out seat. Isn't that cool? gonna look nice all right there's my seat see you in a bit okay now that I've got my seats dry brushed and they're looking good I did a little to the uh, um, firewall and uh, wheel wells and now I'm going to dry brush the frame which has a nice hue of rust but it's not rusty looking it just looks brown so I've got to fix that so a little the, see the craft paint what I like about it this stuff is flat as can be so chalky looking once it dries so when you um when you brush it on there it's got actually still got a little bit of gloss to it so I'm gonna take my uh beauty accent angle brush and I'm going to get some paint on here and start dirtying this thing up and that's going to add that chalky grungy dirt road um, look to it so to get rid of that so you want to get all the little cracks and crevices just take that thing and just go wild as long as your brush isn't completely covered in in uh, paint you don't want it covered in paint I guess you can see this yeah um, so just daub it in there and go at it avoid the radiator you don't want to clog it up with dirt but you want to get every crevice oh one thing to, to remember 
my my uh, cab or the inside of my cab is going to be visible you know when you when you uh, attach the cab the 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 tub here you're going to see it so you want to dirty that up too so don't forget to dirty that up as well when you're going at it so just like I just went look at that just way too much but the easy thing about this is you can I did not do that for an example I just didn't dry my brush off good enough any place that's going to show go ahead and dirty it up real nice dirty it up real nice boy is that an oxymoron all right back to the chassis If you get too much, just come back to that spot in just a few minutes. And, or not a few minutes, it'll be dry, but in a few seconds after you kind of knock some of the paint off in another area, come back there and you can probably tone it down a little bit. So this is looking real nice. Don't forget any of those hidden areas. You don't want it to some real clean spot be where you missed it. Oh man, this is looking so dirty, so grungy. Oscar the Grouch would be proud. I guess you can hit the radiator a little bit because it is going to be, it's in there with everything. So why wouldn't it be grungy? Okay. Wow, looking nice. And I'm also will come in with my, uh, um, panel line accent where's that stuff at this and i will go around the the differential and uh, oil it up real good as well as the bottom of the engine to uh make it look like oil leaks and such so yeah this is looking great wish you could see it in person because it's a little, a little harder to tell there you go it's all did up right there I see some guys that like every build they build is weathered and boy do they look cool I don't want to do every build like that but it is fun to uh, do like do one every once in a while but yeah I'll go in here differential places where the oil would be leaking and pouring out so I'll go in there and uh, grease those places up but that's how you do it just throw it off to the side so you don't really have to take care of it when it's uh when it's a weathered kit you just 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 toss it no i'm just joking all right next uh next segment hey guys welcome back got the body is painted and it is nice and dry i actually have an egg in incubator <laughs> this sounds kind of weird but I have an egg incubator and I have a I have a quite a few chickens and when I'm not hatching chickens I use the egg incubator to uh, speed the drying process up so this thing's nice and nice and hard now the paint finish and what I'm gonna do now is try to get some rust to show so I've got some 1000 grit paper here that's about half worn out and then I've got some 1500 as well and I've got my bucket of water and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start. First, you want to figure out where you want your rust to be. Number one, your roof usually always, the paint usually. I'm not saying rusted up like pitted rust. I'm saying like, you know, when the paint gets worn down to, down to the rust. So, wet my paper. I'm just going to start here on the roof. And just go at it until I start seeing some some primer show through I didn't want to get this paint so heavy I 
it would be a shorter I'm getting some paint off though you see that on my finger so this won't take long at all and if you're not careful you'll go right on through the primer okay I'm already starting to see red perfect I just want my roof to be that uh, be careful on the the edges um, they will sand right through you will be through into the into the white plastic um, before you even know it so I might need to get a little bit more grit for my sandpaper not to mention this stuff I've already sanded I don't know how many darn bodies and stuff with this thing with this piece of sandpaper so just sand it careful on the edges what I like to do is the, like you know places where the people have leaned on the fenders where they've worn the the paint off the fenders the doors where their arm has has been hanging out for years and years and years i like to try and get that um looking sort of rusty that there's some i have decals for this and i want to use some decals if i can and dirty them up but i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to um also on the hood same thing as well just um the edges where the paint would wear wear soonest and then on the bed obviously the fenders and then here on the edges where the uh things would have dragged in and out and on the tailgate so it's it's kind of how just how you want to do it so what i'm going to do because we'll be here forever is i think i'm going to speed this up and uh make your waiting process a lot slower. So just hold on one second. Let me put this thing in hyperdrive. got my sanding done and as you will do too not enough primer here so I went down to the to the white and also a few spots on the body I went ahead and put the uh, Sully solenoid service decals on here and I'm gonna dirty those up as well sorry for the beeping in the background I just noticed I've got a little paint right here which won't really matter because with the look I'm going for, let me turn some more light on here. There, much better. Let me turn this off. All right, so what we're gonna do, I've got these, this kit here. It's the Tamiya weathering and it's got the rust color. This rust is a little, um, a little too light, to be honest with you, um, too bright. So if you'll go to your um, dollar store and look for this kit here. The problem with makeups is most of them have like a glitter in them. And these are just, just a oil flat. There's no glitter in it. So what I like to do with this and this, but this is a bit greasy and the Tamiya stuff is not greasy, but the greasiness actually helps because once you smear it on there it kind of gives the it blends it in really nice so i'll just use this this is the applicator out of the tamiya you can use a q-tip or whatever but or you can steal your wife's or your daughter's or who's ever so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna get this on here i'm gonna touch it all around just smear it in really well 
kind of try to blend. And then what we'll do is we'll take, it'll take several times to get that white spot covered. Just blend it. And then don't wipe it all off. I'm going to, might have to take a little bit of rust color paint or something to hit that. Might be the quicker thing to do than putting like 20 coats of, um, 20 coats of this makeup on it. All right, so on the fenders here where the rust is, which looks really good, one thing about it, where you sand, it's going to be a definite line. See where you can tell where I've sanded, where I haven't sanded. So this is going to help. This is, gives it that that oil that's in this stuff, this well blubber. <laughs> I don't know if it's well blubber. My mom used to tell me that makeup was made from well blubber. It may be. I don't know. But anyway, whatever this stuff's made out of, it does have oil in it. So just wipe it on. And then, as Mr. Miyagi told Daniel's son, if you're over, like, 35, there's a movie called Karate Kid. Daniel's son was, what was Daniel's last name? I don't remember in the movie. Ralph Macchio is his name in real life. So I'm just going to wipe this off. And then that's going to blend my sanded portion in with my non-sanded portion. So, how do you like that? There's another spot here. I think I'm going to try some rust. I have some rust paint. I might just touch that with the uh, rust paint. Very nice. And I want to try it now on this. I wonder if I can get that darn paint off of there. I painted the inside of the, the uh, headliner area and I got paint out here. Again, that's okay. So let me let me run over the decal because I want to smoke it up a bit and make it look old and decrepit. I think that's going to work. So you see where I've, I've sanded, try to sand where it looked like old dude's passenger at least, being this is the passenger side, um, where his arm would be hanging out of the window. You can see here. Try to get it there. I have an old 71 Ford and that's the way mine looks. And uh, so those little touches like that I think really help to make the the uh, weathering look authentic like where it's weathered at not just random like top and fenders you do it in places like that would that would uh, get more wear than other places okay not bad starting to look uh, it's still got a little gloss on the I bet I can uh, take my very fine sandpaper and go across that and take the, the gloss off of it all right, but you're seeing what I'm what I'm doing here. Same with the back. Um, I'm going to blend this with some some rust color, possibly. All these white places, and then I'll take that makeup, and then I'll go over it, and it'll blend the uh, sanded portion in with the non-sanded portion. You can't even see that anymore. Remember a while ago there was a two, there was a definite line where I'd sanded. Now that's gone, so that's good. So I'm just going to continue on putting this stuff on here and wiping it off, blending it in. And I'm not going to do like a 30 minute video of this. And it will end up looking really, really neat. It does. It looks, that makes it look. It gives it that, sh not shine, but um, look of, it's just natural wear. It's it's no more uh, dull on the rust as it is on the paint. And I think that that actually makes 
makes it look a lot more authentic. But anyway, all right, so that's how you do it. I've also got the cab put together, which looks real crusty and, and dirty, and it's looking just perfect. Look at there. Doesn't that look good? And the firewall is greased up and uh, detailed. And I have the, oh, the frame. So yesterday after I finished the video of me dirtying the frame, I went in and I added the oil stains. Now, I added them where the engine would be. So over this cross member here, over the front axle, and you can't really tell, to be honest with you. You want to oil those places up. The differential, um, I've got got it oiled up now. You can see where the you can see that where the oil looks like it had run down. And also, where to put the engine? I'm not done with the engine. I still have a lot more detailing to do to it. But this is an old truck with a million miles on it, so this engine is going to have a lot of oil dripping in stains and I'm not done with it um, the manifold is just just primered but it, it will look more authentic so this is a neat cool kit AMT did a good job on this one but yeah she's gonna be mounted in there and everywhere that that engine that's leaking oil would be I try to uh, to get the chassis dirtied up so anyway all right, guys, this is going to end up part one, part one of a part two or a two part video. I'm going to finish dirtying or um, completing the rust with my makeup and I'm going to touch these areas up, I think, with a little a little rust um, color. I think I may use that primer to shoot a little bit on my brush. But I am going to cut this video. Again, this is part one of two. When we come back, I'll have a few finishing touches, but um, for the most part, it'll be just the completed kit. Guys, I appreciate you watching these videos. I really do. Um, my channel has really grown here lately, and it's all because of you guys, so thank you so much. Like I say, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Um, comment, like this video check out some links that I have in the description go join our Facebook group it's growing it's a lot of fun so many uh, pictures on there and people sharing their builds go on there uh, there's two questions you have to answer to be a member if you've ever built a model you'll have no problem answering those two join the group put your pictures on there let's talk also if you haven't already go over to Hobby Nut Models go over there and check out their inventory if you like armor or planes there's plenty of those. If you like cars and trucks, those as well. Uh, Mark's also starting to carry quite a bit of accessories for these uh, for these kits. Detailing accessories, hoses, uh, spark plug wires, um, braided hoses. I saw that. Um, the little fittings for the braided uh, radiator hoses and things like that. Go over there and check them out, Hobby Nut Models, Hobby Nut, hobbynutmodels.com. That link will be in the description below as well. So, guys, thanks a lot. Have a good one. We will see you in just a day or two, and we will have part two, and this thing will be completed, and we're going to have a cool-looking kit. Guys, you take care. See you later. Bye.